next contestant states, the, miss, the importance of the Miss Africa USA pageant is to promote the beauty of the culture, people, and accomplishments of the African continent. It is a platform to showcase dynamic African women as spokespersons and role models of Africa. And ladies and gentlemen, we have two more contestants. Please keep it to a whisper. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, Miss Tanzania USA. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are y'all doing? Oh, I cannot hear you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are y'all doing? Great. My name is Monica Howley, and I am your Miss Tanzania USA 2011. When I was three years old, my parents taught me how to read and write. My grandfather was an educator. My mother here, she was a teacher back in Tanzania. My, father, my deceased father was a university professor. And then a couple years ago, I continued that legacy and became a teacher myself. When I received my first teaching assignment at Pierce Middle School in Austin, Texas, I taught predominantly Hispanic and African American children. When I, and when I asked them what they liked to read, you know what they told me? They said that was white people's stuff. They said that's ridiculous. Why would I want to read? And then when I peeled back the layers of the onions, I discovered they didn't like to read because they couldn't read at their grade level. So what I decided to do was, in addition to what I was required by the state of Texas to educate them on sixth grade language arts, I incorporated information from their culture. So they learned about Cesar Chavez and Martin Luther King. I also incorporated games to make learning engaging and fun because learning can be fun. So these kids learned how to read and write properly. And as a result, 62% of my sixth grade class that year went on to pass the sixth grade language arts exam for that year. When I came here to Washington, D.C. to get my master's of social work at Howard University, go Bisons! <laughs> I worked with the Heads Up organization as well as the Literacy Lab this year to work with the kids in wards 5, 6, and 7, and 8, where approximately 1 in 10 people, or 10%, only possess a college degree and can possibly read and write. To me, that's unfortunate. In our nation's capital, with all the government agencies, I just feel like that's ridiculous. Across the globe, 774 million people are illiterate. You and me are here because you have an interest in Africa. You have an interest, a vested interest in the people of Africa and just people all over the globe. Join me to read rights over obstacles of illiteracy from the U.S. to Tanzania by volunteering your time, whether it's in your church or mosque, whether it's at a school or a nursing home, and just teaching people how to read and write. It can be one hour a day or one hour a week. Make a difference in someone's life so that we both can read right over obstacles to eradicate illiteracy. I am Monica Howley and I am Miss Tanzania USA. Thank you so much.